Let's create a new file inside of VS Code. The first way and the fastest way is to go over to your Explorer menu and click on this new file button. From here, you get a text box to where you're going to name whatever file you want to name. For me, I named it file.cpp, but you can name this whatever you want and the extension will get picked up by VS Code and VS Code will know what to do with that file once you open it. It gives you syntax highlighting as well as linting. Once I've done naming it, what I can do is I can just hit enter and it will open up the file for me. From here, I can type whatever I want for whatever file I need to type in. If you want to create just a text file, what you can do is you can hit Control N or go up to File and New Text File and click on it. Now, when you open the file, it automatically gives you a few options that you can choose from. You could select a language. Maybe you want this file to be a C++ file or a Java file or a Python file. You can fill it with a template and that will come from your extensions. You could have potentially different templates that you can use to fill out this file. You can open a different editor. What this will do is it'll create a new window for you to edit this particular file. And then you can select to not see this menu again, and it won't ever show it again when you open up a new file. We can click on select language. And from here, we get a list of languages. These are just the linted languages, the ones that VS Code will give you syntax highlighting for. And you can pick any one of these that you want. I selected C++, so now we just have a file dangling. If we hit Control S, it will then ask you where you want to save this file inside of your folder structure or inside of your project. And from here, you can name it whatever you want as well, because it's just called untitled dash whatever number of untitled files you have currently open. From here, we can hit save, and now we have created a new file. And that is how you create a new file inside of VS Code.